The career of Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba. World Cup winner. Pogba! And at one point, the world's most expensive player. Wow! Could be over the tender age of just 30. I just don't want to play anymore. A gent with a smile and hairdos too pure for this world. That's what he's all about. Now his blood sample is tainted and the doping ban looms. Pogba now risks a suspension of up to four years. This would be a terrible way for his career to close. Herma crocked after a botched attempt to rush back for the World Cup. A blackmail feud with his own brother played out in a court case that involves a witch doctor, moss men with machine guns extorting him, now a failed drug test. Pogba! Tested positive for testosterone. It was like a movie. Just how did this happen? Paul Habil Pogba. That's how his 62 million Insta fans know him. One of the most prodigiously talented gents ever to swing a talent so lanky leg at a football. In his prime, the most swashbuckling of midfielders. Another perfect strike from Paul Pogba. He grew up in Rossi and Brie. It's an immigrant heavy eastern suburb of Paris that Pogba since referred to as a quote dangerous place. He left home age 16 to seek his fortune, staying with a host family and joining Manchester United in the northwest of England without even knowing the language. His immense promise was obvious to all earning him a slew of French youth team call-ups and in a startling decision left the Manchester United of Sir Alex Ferguson to decamp to Juventus in Italy on a free, a swaggering, calculating bet on himself in the search for instant first team minutes and there in Italy he made his name as one of the most blisteringly hot talents alive. The moment of sheer class and Paul Pogba. Four Scudettos, Italian league titles, a Champions League final, a dozen or so mind-bending, outrageous goals from distance. Oh, he's done it again! With both feet and a Ballon d'Or nomination in 2014 when he was the youngest player on the 23-man shortlist. All of this convinced Manchester United, the Manchester United of Jose Mourinho now, to reverse course and just as shockingly bring him back in 2016, paying $111 million in a blockbuster transfer fee, which made Pogba the most expensive player in the world at the time. Look, 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 man, I'm the one they all fear. I was the man of the year last year. Cue a signing video featuring rapper Stormzy. Oh, and the global sensation. Hashtag Pogba. Okay, so during his time at Manchester United, Pogba did win the Europa League. That's the beauty of having Paul, because he is the best all-round midfielder in the world. And then lifted the World Cup with France, even scoring a goal in the final. For France! And possibly now the world! And not much else, because Manchester United was in free fall. And Pogba, as the most expensive signing, became a symbol of so many of their failures. And summation of their fall from grace. Portuguese manager Jose Mourinho quickly turned on his blockbuster player, calling him, quote, a virus. Paul Pogba's done an interview critical of your man management. I couldn't care less with what this is. And so many British talking head pundits piled on, complaining about Pogba's hair, or his stated desire to win the Ballon d'Or, or his preference to recover from his many injuries away from Manchester in warm climates. There's one pundit in particular, Graham Souness, the 70-year-old former Liverpool moustache and coached hard man who seemed to loathe everything Pogba did, said or touched. He's not for me. He's not for me. Never has been. I think I was proved right. His time at Man United, he would have to be regarded as unmitigated failure. And it came to this. A year before the end of his contract at Manchester United, Pogba elected to release an Amazon doc series, Pogmentary, about his life and his decision to stay at the club for a sixth season. But that season didn't turn out how he would have hoped. The campaign started with La Pioche, the jokester as he was known, in blistering form. What an opening day! Seven assists sprinkled into just his first four matches. Midfield mastery of Paul Pogba. But two games against Liverpool Football Club came to define Pogba's second era at Manchester United. Paul Pogba gets red. 
In the first one, he made a 15-minute cameo, essentially, before being sent off for an ill-advised tackle in a 5-0 beatdown loss. Paul Pogba sent off. And then, in what turned out to be Pogba's final game in a Manchester United jersey, the player pulled up injured after just 10 minutes in a breakaway that ultimately led to Liverpool's opener. What a start! And to make matters worse, a month before that fateful final game against Liverpool, when Pogba was on Champions League duty, a loss to Atletico Madrid, Pogba's family home was burgled when his two young sons were in the house. On social media, Pogba called it, quote, our family's worst nightmare. And four days later, and this is truly the stuff of nightmares, while Pogba was outside of Paris, Moss men, armed with M16 assault rifles, confronted him and demanded $13 million in back pay, quote, protection money. And the ringleader of the crew trying to extort him, get this, turned out to be his older brother, Matthias, himself a former player, spent his career mostly with lower league clubs across England and France, and he'd even made five international appearances for Guinea. When there is money, you have to be careful. Money changed people. Initially, Pogba tried to hide the blackmail, but eventually it all came out in court. With his brother arrested and then releasing over 30 hostage-style videos on social media, drip, 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 to reveal his dirt. So amongst Matthias's claims, this one, that Pogba had spent millions on a marabout, kind of a holy man who can make dreams come true, or get involved in dirtier business, cursing rivals, including Kylian Mbappe. Now, Paul, for his part, obviously denies all of this. He did admit that he had visited a marabout, but that all he'd done is ask for help to overcome injuries. And for being honest, Paul Pogba certainly needed help because the injuries, those have stacked up. Over his last three years in Manchester, he started just 50 games out of a possible 114. And the injury record, it's only gotten worse since he rejoined Juventus on a free transfer. Eight separate injuries, each keeping him out of the game for at least a month, have limited Pogba upon his return to just one start. Against Cremonese, Pogba lasted just 24 agonising minutes before tearing his quad. It was honestly agonising to watch our gent in that moment put his head in his hands and wept. Pogba admitted last season was, quote, the biggest test of my life, in which he aged, quote, 10 years in seven months. This season in the first game against Udinese, Pogba didn't play, but he did give a blood sample. And it showed DHEA, a banned substance that helps the body essentially produce testosterone. Now, DHEA is legal and can be brought over the counter in the United States. And testing is common. FIFA carried out 369 tests alone during the latest World Cup. But in a surreal coincidence, on the same day as the news about his failed drug test dropped and swirled around the world, an interview Pogba had done with Al Jazeera aired. And in it, Pogba admitted to wanting to escape it all. The fame, the money, the entire sport. Sometimes, like, I was just by myself thinking I don't want to have money anymore, don't want to play anymore. I just want to be with normal people so they will love me for me. The tale of Paul Pogba, a Shakespearean tragedy, is amongst the darkest, most dispiriting stories this sport has had to offer in recent times. A story of talent developed and talent frittered away amidst the money and the pressure and the hype. Just below all that bling lies a darkness. It makes me want to put my head in my hands and weep. He's leaving the field, devastated. Pogba remains the biggest name in Syria. The gent who draws the highest salary in the league. He can be the greatest joy to watch. But now he faces two to four years without football. What now for Pogba? Well, he has three sons that he adores. Helicopter! <laughs> His wife, she wants to move back to the United States when he retires. He's talked about how he'd like to star in action movies. The last several years, however, have all been pulled from the wrong kind of film. A true horror flick.